Welcome to DWBI Adda channel. Please subscribe for latest training videos. Hello friends. In this video, we are going to learn how to include time in date hierarchy in Power BI. So we have two tables. We have transactions and we have date table. So the transactions table contains individual transactions along with time, unit price, order quantity and order value. We just need to add one more column to extract the R of transaction so that we are able to analyze the data at an early level. Let's call it time ref. And you are using a function format. The value would be time. And the format would be RR. So there we have it. Now let's move over to the date table. So the date table we have generated a series of dates using the calendar function between this date and this date and we have created subsequent columns by converting the date into different formats now if we want to work with time it is not possible to add time in the same table therefore we will be creating a new table in which we will be adding time to do our time level analysis for that we need to head over to the modeling tab and click on new table So you can perform the analysis at a minutes level, even at a seconds level as well. But in this video, we'll be just covering analysis of time at an early level. So let's call it timetable. And you will be using the function generate series. Generate series to generate different hours of the day. The starting value would be one. End value would be 24 since there are 24 hours in a day. And since we are going through every single hour of the day, we'll use the incremental value as one. So there we have it. Now, firstly, we need to convert this value into time. Let's call this new column date time. You will be using the function time. So we'll have to give the representation of R, which is nothing but this value over here. So we'll call it value. Let's leave the minute zero and the second zero since we are not, not working at a minute or a second level. There we have it. Now the next column would be time ref. Using the function format, we'll pick up the R from this table or this column. So we'll give it date time. And the format would be HH for the R. So that's done. Now finally, the time itself in the standard time format. Format again, date time again, and the format would be RR minute minute AM slash PM. That's it. Now make sure this time uh, column has been formatted as time. We just need to select the column and select time from the date time uh, data time. Now we simply need to create a relationship. So click on manage relationships. See, there already exists a relationship between the date uh, in the transactions table and the date in the date table. We are going to do that for, for the time as well. So let's click on new, let the transactions, timetable, and since the header of the column is same in both the cases, it has automatically detected a relationship between the two columns. Click on OK. Click on close. Now let's head over and build our report. So I've already created a visual over here in which we are going through the sales at a monthly level. We can also do it at a date level as well. There we go. This is date level. Now, similarly, we'll be doing it at a time level. So for that, let's click on this visual bar chart. Let's pull out time. Make sure you pull out time from the timetable. And let's pull out sales. So this is how our sales have been trending across different hours of the day. Thanks for watching this video. 